Hi, I'm Haji Dillon. I'm your host for Girls Talk. And as always, I got my face full of makeup by a beautiful <laughs> young lady called uh, Fariel. She has been on my, on my show twice before, so she is a familiar face. But today, it's, more of a bit of, it's a bit more of an exciting show because I have four other guests along with Fariel. They've all modeled. They, they go beyond modeling. But they're all here to talk about what it's like to work with Fariel and also what it's like behind the scenes as a model. And I'm excited to hear all these stories. So let's go over and say hi to all the guests. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, Fariel, thank you for coming back for the third time. My pleasure. I believe it's the third time, and yep. every time is always so great to talk to you. Thank you. And today you brought along uh, four troopers with you. I did. Gorgeous, gorgeous people. I know, look at them. <laughs> so, if you could uh, introduce them all. Absolutely. Since they are your guests. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I brought with myself um, very, very talented models and very good friends of mine. Very proud to introduce Rajinder. Beautiful Rajinder, she won Miss Brampton last week, so congratulations. Thank you. We have a very dashing couple here. I've known a couple for about a year. We've done many fashion shows together. Beautiful Shaheen, she's done many music videos, and I met her just this year, and I've just been so impressed. She's super talented. And then very handsome Gotham, uh, he's also done a music video recently, which has hit a a million likes already on YouTube. Um, so he is up and coming and he is your rising star. So very, very proud to have these people here with me today. Wow, I, I'm even more proud to have them on my show. <laughs> this is great. I, I mean, you are all up and coming stars because doing what you're doing isn't easy and I've been exposed to that too. And this is why I'm so glad you brought them on the show because this is something that we've never covered before. We've, yeah. talked, to, we've talked to all kinds of people, but we've never really talked like, gotten really close and personal with about them working in the industry and how it is. Before we get to that though, I want to go through each of you individually and uh, ask you a little bit more about yourself. So uh, Reginda Fariel was nice enough to tell us that you had won uh, the title of Miss Brampton. If you could tell us what pageant that was and when this took place, We'd love to hear. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you for the lovely introduction, both of you. I really appreciate it. Um, well, it was MM Pageants. It happened like just a week and a half ago. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And I think I did it just to, like, I love modeling. Pageants is just to put yourself out, out of your community and really do something and make a change. And that is my biggest passion, aside from modeling, is to really make a change and help people. And I think this gave me the opportunity to do that. Um, it's a shame when there's so many opportunities and people don't take them. And for me, I'm a person that any opportunity goes by and I won't hesitate. I will take that opportunity. So yeah, that's, that's just what I did. And I'm having so much fun and I just want to get out there and help my community. This is an amazing way to do it. Because once you have that voice, you have that platform, you have that recognition, you're exposed to all those opportunities, you can actually make this work for you and other people too. Mm -hmm. You can be that role model you want to be. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> exciting. So let's go over to uh, Dashing Kapil, mm -hmm. as Fariel referred to you. <laughs> uh, you and I have met on multiple occasions as well. Yes, we have. Um, so don't talk about how we met or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> If you could tell us about the shows that you've been involved in, the work that you've been involved in, and um, as a model, and what you do aside from being a model. Uh, so I have been doing modeling for, I guess, past three or four years now. And uh, it's funny because I never actually wanted to be a model. I got into modeling because of my elder brother and two of my best friends who are also like brothers to me, Harsh and Manny. Some of you have worked with them before. So they are the ones who dragged me to my first show and uh, it was a great experience. Two things that I really liked about modeling were I got to meet new people and uh, I got to wear clothes that I would not wear in my day to day. <laughs> so those were the two things that felt really great. And uh, so I do modeling on the side, but uh, my full time, I'm a software developer. Like that's my full time job. But uh, anytime I get an opportunity to do some fashion show or uh, any event, like I immediately jump on it because it's so exciting. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you mentioned the first show that you worked on because I know both your friends too. And I think the first show that you actually did was when you and I met. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Mm. That's when you and I met. So that's quite exciting to know. Yeah. So you've come a long way because that was 
that was last year. <laughs> no, my first show was probably four years back. Oh, okay. Mm. So then it wasn't last year. <laughs> okay, yeah, but uh, it's interesting that you're a software developer too because, again, it's not just about modeling. You do have something that you do aside from that. So yeah. that's always good to keep your mind busy. Yeah. Like I said, I never had planned for this. Like, it just happened because of my three brothers and... That's all. Like, I still enjoy doing it and I would love to continue doing it for as long as I have the dashing looks here. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much, Kapil. Let's move on to the beautiful Shaheen. Thank you. If you could tell us what invited you into the world of modeling and uh, how it happened. Um, well, I think I was always... Uh, drawn towards camera and all it interested me always so um, I guess when I finished my school back home so I used to love clicking myself um, and some of my friends were like okay you you are like they say like I'm photogenic and my pictures come up well so uh, that was from where I thought okay let's go for a professional folio shoot and I had a talk at home. I said, I just want to get myself clicked from a professional uh, photographer. So uh, I got my first folio shoot done. And in the evening, uh, when the folio shoot finished, I got a call for a Punjabi music video. And I was like, I just did a folio shoot, right? And I was, I was not prepared for it. So, but then I thought, OK, like, this is something like I wanted, right? So I took it. And that is from where my modeling career started. Yeah, so then um, things turned a bit. I had to continue my studies, and I came to Canada to study further. And as I finished my study, I thought, like, okay, let's start with what interests me, right? So I started, I think it was last month in August, and that was my first fashion show where I met Faryal. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was a great experience, yeah. So that's amazing. Once you get that opportunity, you either love it or you hate it. Okay. And it's clear that you loved it. Oh, I loved it. And yeah, you've true. continued on that path and you get to work with all these fabulous people yeah. as often as you like, which is Obviously, nice. Yeah. <laughs> which leaves us with the handsome Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the descriptions that Faria had attached to each of you. Um, so uh, if you could tell us uh, why you chose modeling and what you like about it the most. Sure. So as most of, most of them said, you know, I love getting collected pictures as well. And I think I have given good height and everything. You know, if God gave you something and you're blessed, not everybody is, and I'm honored. So you should always pursue in that line and see how, how things flow in your way, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, by saying that, I got a good opportunity. I think it's been a year. So somebody reached out to me if you want to do a modeling audition, right? So that was like a very good and a very first show I have done here, Jashan. So, I went for audition, it worked for me, then since then, I think it's, it's, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm getting good opportunities, got a music videos, meeting these beautiful people, you know, making nice connections, and all these things are really, really, you know, helping me towards the way where I wanted to go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you get to see a lot of familiar faces along the way, you'll bump into each other yeah. at different shows, exactly. different auditions, mm -hmm. you know, when you go for the music video shoots and yeah. the pageants, and yeah. Yeah. it's kind of like a friendship has formed. We, we are really good friends, even like after the show, even if we don't have a show, we meet together, we chill together, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm really blessed to have all these people in my life. Yeah, which actually brings me to um, the next point that I wanted to make, is that Fariel is the odd one out from all of you because she's not the one that actually walks on the stage as a model. She might go and flaunt her stuff as a makeup artist because she does all of your makeup. Mm -hmm. But there was one show in particular that she was just involved in. I think it was the IIFA? IFFC? Uh, no. Um, we're talking about the Azadi Festival, Milton Azadi Festival, where I choreographed and did the makeup as well. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so you went above and beyond your role as a makeup artist to... In uh, I guess educate, teach the, the, the girls and the guys how to walk and present these designs. Um, I mean, it's not that they don't know, but you put together a choreography for them, which was I amazing. Did. Thank you. I actually was fortunate enough to see that choreography when you posted it, and it was, it was really cool to see that. Um, so I know how she is to work as a makeup artist, and she's very meticulous. She likes things to be in their place when it comes to hair and makeup, and she will follow you around to make sure that you're <laughs> always touched up. But how is she to work with as a choreographer? 
I guess you have the microphone, so Gotham, if you have anything to say on that. Sure. I think uh, I have done like six, seven shows, and I worked with her almost maybe in five. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've been. She was always. She always done my makeup and stuff. So in that show, she got an opportunity uh, to choreograph that show and organize the whole thing, and she did an amazing job. Trust me, it was an amazing job. And especially when you're choreographing couples, like it was more heavy on the couple base, plus single walks as well. She did a great job, because you have to think about different ideas, different poses, and that kind of stuff, right? And when you have like six couples walking on the show, you need to have that, you know, a lot of different, uh, different. you can think about different, different things, right, to do on the stage, and she did a great job. I'm pretty sure everyone is agreeing with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's not let's not be so nice. So <laughs> uh -oh. let me let me ask you. So was was she bossy at all? Because like I said, when it comes to makeup, and she did my hair the very first time, she really wanted it in its place. And I'm a really like a low maintenance person. I don't like like do my hair and makeup often. So it's kind of like oh my god, all the time it's my hair has to be in place. <laughs> so when I guess she choreographed, she wants you guys to she wants you guys to be perfect, yeah. right? Yeah. So did did she come across? bossy? Was she like really compulsive about how you walk together? Did she tell you off? Did she yell? Or was she really actually nice like Gotham said? <laughs> she, no, she never yelled though. But I, I'll, <laughs> I'll say like she is really very professional. Uh, that was the show I met her first time, right? So uh, when I met her first time and she told me, okay, I'm choreographing as well. I didn't know like, you, I thought like she choreographs on, you know, like generally as well because she was so good actually and um, I remember like she showed me a, a walk she she walked and she said okay this is the attitude I want and I was like just looking at her I said wow she's so good look at her oh, facial god. expressions and all oh my god like yeah she was really good at it yeah I actually <laughs> walked yes yeah she did I remember <laughs> to show them yeah yeah I have yet to see your walk please don't <laughs> please don't I mean I I think and I thought this the first time you do my makeup I think that you're very attractive so I I'm surprised you don't walk the ramp and Thank learning you. that you can is quite impressive Thank but I have you. a question for you too Fariel is that uh, you're the makeup artist and you were the choreographer for this particular show mm -hmm. um, so I mean a lot of these faces weren't familiar faces they were new faces for you mm -hmm. um, and it's unfortunate we're not supposed to but sometimes we do tend to judge a book by its cover you know I mean uh, you see how somebody presents himself you might judge them or you might hear them speak and something sticks out and you have a, an opinion of them so did you like all of these four guests at first glance? Do you have any opinions of what you thought? Did they live up to what you had expected? You, of you mean first impressions when first I first impressions, met them? That's so great. I didn't first meet them at that show. I actually recruited them for that show because I had worked with all of them before except Shaheen. Shaheen I met at that show. Okay. But uh, I knew Gotham, Kapil, Rajinder, all of them. And I, because I had worked with them before and I knew that they're all excellent models, I recruited them for that show. So I already knew about them. Now, how I first met them and what was my first impression when I I met them. Um, I could tell you about that. So Rajinder, <laughs> and we all know um, who know her. She's just uh, uh, Miss Popular. Like she, uh, there's never a dull moment with her. And so when she was sitting in my chair, we were just laughing our heads off like we've been best friends forever. And so at that point, I'm like, I want this girl to work with me. And so I got her contact and I'm like, you know what? We're doing a show and I want you in it. And at first, the schedules were not working out and she was like, I may not be able to come for y'all for her. So I'm like, I'll give you a ride, but I want you there. So that's how I got Rajin. They're on board. Couple I have worked with on many fashion shows. I think Mississauga Fashion Week was the first time we got introduced. And uh, he has this thing about where he talks talks people up. He talks all of his friends up and he talks so highly of them, right? So uh, while he was mentioning his other friends who got him into modeling, so I was doing makeup for one of his friends and uh, we were talking and he said, do you have my number? And I said, no. And a couple came from behind and he's like, you don't have a number for such a big model? And I'm like, is this guy kidding me right now? Like, that was like the funniest thing ever, right? But uh, I just found him to be very, very charming and I found that, you know, I mean, I saw him on the stage. One thing about couple is he never wears makeup when he's on the stage. Um, what you see is what you get, right? You would see him on the show, and I, I myself have thought several times that he's probably wearing makeup, but he never wears makeup. So that really is very impressive. What you see is what you get. 
So yeah, but he's also a very talented model. And so as I got to know him better, I'm like, okay, so he talks very highly of everyone, including myself. So I'm like, okay, that's a very sweet quality. He's not an exaggerator. He's actually a very sweet person. Then Miss Shaheen, um, I met her for the first time at the show and I'm like, okay, all these new people that I don't know and I'm like, I don't know if how much training they would need or what, you know, how much I would have to teach them. She got the choreography in seconds. I showed her the walk once and she nailed it. Like you give this girl a pair of heels, both of them, and they know how to rock the stage. I, like I can not even say enough. So, and by the way, I have a question. The last twirl that you guys did, where did the idea come from? Uh, the one we did on Judaism? Yes. Yes, that was my idea. <laughs> good, good one. Because, you know, I mean, then these guys took my choreography and then they improvised as well, which was, and I'm like, I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm so proud. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. And then Gotham and I met at Jushin this year. And we were just sitting around talking because there was a break in between the shows and he was just like this sweet, friendly, friendly person. And the first thing he said to me is like, you look exactly like my sister-in-law. And yeah. so that's how, you know, we got into talking and he's like, you know, she's your look-alike. Like, look at her picture. You look just exactly like her. And did you agree? Uh, yeah, she's very pretty. <laughs> she's very beautiful. So I was very honored. And so then we got into talking more and then I found out that he is uh, in IT and my whole family is in IT as well. And so we got into talking and then I saw him walk on the stage and uh, I saw how talented he is. And so, and then we worked on several other fashion shows together. Um, it just so happens that we both um, work in the same industry, so Peel region and whatnot. So uh, Brampton Fashion Week and then other fashion show came up that we worked on. And so for this one, I asked him, I'm like, I want you to be with me on this show. So highly talented people and then people I knew from before and then people that I just met. And I'm very fortunate to have made their acquaintance. It's so nice to hear all these really nice, amazing things about all of you, you know. Um, you all sound like sugar and spice and all things nice, <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing and lovely. And for you to be uh, so appreciative and, and excited that Shaheen took on the initiative to get the twirl in is, <laughs> is, a, is proof that you're not such an ogre, which I was trying to get to yeah, see oh if she was. Thank you. Such but. a nice word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not. I'm a good person. So. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I had a blast working with these guys. I mean, they made it so much more fun for me. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like it. The, the energy in this group is amazing. And I'm excited to hear more stories after the break. We're just going to take a short break and uh, we'll be right back. Islamic Circle of North America, Canada presents Carry the Light Annual Convention 2018 on October 6th and 7th at the International Center, Mississauga. The event is aimed to inspire Muslims to implement the true spirit of Islam in their lives. This year's speakers are going to talk about Canadian Muslims sharing Islam and serving humanity. Don't miss this opportunity to meet with world-renowned speakers at one place. For sponsorship, Grand Bazaar and tickets, please visit carrythelight.ca. जिंदगी की दौड़ में आगे रहने के लिए आप कितनी मेहनत करते हैं और वक्त है जो हाथ नहीं आता इसीलिए अब पेश है हबीब झटपट जी हाँ फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हबीब पेश करता है रेडी टू कुक रेसिपी मसाला मिक्स इसमें है सारे इंग्रेडिएंट्स यानी प्याज टमाटर लहसुन अदरक काटने की झंझट से छुटकारा और लज्जत से भरपूर खानों का मजा बगैर किसी मेहनत के वो भी झटपट नो एम एस जी एडेड ग्लूटिन फ्री यानी बचत लज्जत और सेहत साथ साथ विद हबीब झटपट this is the world of internet. You have everything on your computer and mobile screen. If you wish to promote your business through internet, especially to perfect target market, then you have just one reliable name, NJ Marketing. Offering various marketing solutions like social media marketing, telemarketing, email marketing, search engine optimization, graphic designing, web designing and development, and mobile application development. So call now at 647-824-1485 or email at njmarketing15 at gmail.com or log on to njmarketing.ca
no se calle nada. Gold House Fellers. Now open biggest store of 22 and 24 carat gold jewelry in Malton. Gold House Jewelers. New collection just arrived from Dubai, Pakistan and India. Call Shahid or Junaid. 905-672-0786. Purity is guaranteed. Gold House Fellers. Hi, welcome back to Girls Talk. Uh, again, I am your host, Haji Dillon, and I have five guests with me today, which is quite unusual. Uh, we are enjoying the chat about the world of modeling, and we are going to get to the behind-the-scenes stories right now, because we didn't have time before the break. And since you have the mic, Rajinder, if you could tell me if you have any exciting behind-the-scenes stories or anything that's funny, embarrassing, anything that you'd like to share with our viewers to keep us entertained? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, um, I've known these guys for a while now. Um, love them with all my heart. They're very supportive, very nice. Um, always look out for each other. We actually go out after the shows as well. Um, they are the most hilarious people I've ever met. <laughs> they always keep me entertained. Um, for example, when we did the Azadi Festival, um, for all and for all was teaching me her walk and she's like this is how it should be done and she's giving me all these fierce looks and I'm like wow <laughs> wow you're good and then she's like yeah, yeah she knows what she's doing and I'm like wow and then you know the guys came in and the guys were um, playing around couple was putting the dupatta over his head <laughs> and he's like oh guys look at me and I'm like Interesting. <laughs> like, there's never a dull moment with these guys, right? It's it's so it's so nice to have friends like that. Like, we're a really big circle, and um, we have a group chat, and we're always sharing opportunities with each other too, right? So, like, if there's another fashion show coming up, they'd message me, be like, "Hey, there's go audition for this, go do this," and it feels so good to have that. So you go from behind the scenes to entertaining one another, such as Kapil, and you're taking photos, you're making movies, and you create the, you form all these friendships too. You know, and do you, do you experience the same thing? Have you experienced anything, Shaheen, unusual behind the scenes? Um, I, yeah, actually. It was not related to some of the fashion shows I did. Um, so what happened was we were doing a video song shoot and um, I was, the director um, briefed me with my character what I have to act in it. So... Um, I was doing my role and all, I was acting and all. So all of a sudden what I realized was like no one was noticing me, right? Like everyone got scattered here and there and I was doing my own stuff. And I was like, okay, wh what, I did something wrong or what happened? Like no one is looking at me. <laughs> so that is where I realized the director forgot to say cut. <laughs> and I was just doing my own stuff and it felt so stupid and dumb. So yeah, now like um, after that incident, I keep my ears a little bit open so that, you know, I can hear when the scene is over. <laughs> it's cut. So but those moments are quite funny too, oh, yeah. you know, and then if you collect them, you can make a blooper reel. <laughs> I find blooper reels are the most entertaining thing when it comes Absolutely. to making yeah. any kind of movie, you know, even if it is behind the scene footage. True. It's amazing. Yeah. So Regenda did touch upon friendships that are formed. And they do start from behind the scenes. You, you get to know each other, you know, but as uh, having worked in the modeling industry myself, I do know from experience, it's not always as nice as this. You know, there are incidences where people can um, be nice to your face and say something behind your back and there's a lot of cattiness, there's a lot of competitiveness, there's a lot of rivalry and it's unfortunate because I mean my show is Girls Talk uh, but we do have males here too. It is about empowering and lifting each other up so you know even though I do refer to girls it's the same thing for guys too right like I mean if you work together as a team you lift each other up it's more empowering. What are your experiences? I guess I'm going to ask you first, Gautam, like what is it like to be in the world of modeling, to form solid friendships when there is that competitiveness and rivalry involved? Uh, I think uh, personally it's not that easy. Easy in the sense uh, it requires how's your attitude towards others as well, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, when I say your attitude, your attitude is actually your price tag, right? It shows you show your value when you meet someone, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have a nice attitude toward other people and you, you get connected with those nice people who have the same attitude towards you, right? And I'm guessing all of these people, and I'm not guessing, I'm pretty sure they have the same attitude. And whenever we meet, we got connected so well. 
and here we are right now, right? So it really depends on how, how comfortable you are with each other, how nice you are to the people, and just, just be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Be, be yourself, be real, be genuine yeah, with yeah. each other, you yeah. know? And uh, you guys have known each other for a short time, but you still have this strong bond with each other where you do, do things that is not related to modeling. It's socializing and it's hanging out and talking to each other, telling each other your deepest, darkest secrets. So do any of you have any bad experiences? I mean, you do, I don't want any name dropping or anything, but bad experiences where you could give advice to other people, the viewers, in terms of how to hold their guard up, but how, also to let their guard down because you, you don't want to miss great friendships either. You know, does anybody have anything to say on that? I'm looking at Reginda because she's nodding her head. Oh, God. <laughs> You're on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, well, I did have an experience. Um, well, one of my shows that I did, um, there were these, the female models, and we were all, I guess, collaborating, talking, and one of them um, wanted to share her ideas, I guess, or her other opportunities with other people instead of me. So I felt very, you know, like they're not including me. And you get that a lot in modeling, right? It's, it's a competitive field. Not everyone wants to share everything with you. And I think just to overcome that is look the other way. Be like, okay, you know what? You do you, I'm going to do me. <laughs> you know, um, be the best be your best self and you never know what opportunity you can get from that. When I met for for y'all, um, I didn't know another opportunity was going to come through a fashion show. She was my makeup artist for a fashion show and then all of a sudden I'm doing another fashion show because of her and then from there I'm doing another one, right? It's just networking and yeah, just don't let that stuff get to you. It used to bother me a lot, I'm going to be honest, um, and there's a lot of hate in the world and you just kind of have to look past it and I think for everyone just be your best self. That's amazing. You know, and as you were speaking, I kind of thought of something else too. With Kapil sitting right beside you, I'm going to direct this question to you, Kapil. Um, you, you get to work with a lot of amazing females. Uh, you also work with males too. Uh, when I talk about the cattiness, the competitiveness and the rivalry, I'm talking in the fem amongst females because I do find it's common in females. And I'm not a male, so I could never say what it's like in the brotherhood of your man system. So um, if you could tell me what you, from experience, when you are working with female models, do you notice the tension and the, the rivalry, the competitiveness often, or do you find that they do work together as a team and lift uh, each other up? I've heard a lot of females complaining about their fellow models, but at the same time, I think a lot of it comes from all the stress that's going on. Like, for a fashion show, it takes a lot of preparation, like you have to do your makeup and uh, within a short amount of time, you have to change so many clothes, especially the females. Like most of the shows that I've done, I've seen males like changing into probably two or three clothes, but females, they have to change so many times mm -hmm. because they are the ones who have the largest amount of costumes or dresses, whatever you can say them, like they have the most number of designers they have to represent. So they are going through a lot of stress so I do blame it on the stress and the, all the fatigue that they have to go through in one small period of time like in one day but after the show I've seen the same girls who are bitching about each other like getting along so well. <laughs> ah, okay. For example right now look at Rajinder and Shaheen. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying I'm giving an girl, example. There's more girls we here, Kapil. We will outnumber I'm just, you. I'm just giving an example. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is like, these two get along really well. And even if, I'm pretty sure, even if they ever had a problem with some other girls or between each other, I, I'm sure they can work it out after the show. So, no, I've never seen anybody like carrying the fight outside the show. No, I haven't. Okay, so that's a really good thing to hear, you know, because I... I was kind of worried or nervous that it might go beyond the show for mm. you to equate it to stress. It's a, so it's a very calming thing, I guess, yeah. for one of the girls who's modeling. If she was going to come up and talk to you and say, oh my God, like that girl, she's really annoying me because she took my dress or she <laughs> like, doesn't totally. know, like, you know, oh and, and if, yeah. if, if, a girl, if a girl does that and they go up to you and they tell you about it, then at least you can tell them, you know what, just don't take this moment too serious. It's just a stressful situation. Afterwards, we're going to go out, we're going to grab a bite to eat, we're going to have a drink or whatever we're going to do and it's all going to just blow over so don't my hold it my reflex in. usually is come up with a joke like that's what I do like <laughs> yeah. whenever I'm nervous about something or somebody is telling me about their problem or some issue that they're having with someone I don't know it's like a reflex I guess that's how I've 
dealt with it in the past, I just crack a joke and move on. Well, that's like how it works. Or you put the dupatta on your head. <laughs> yeah, I put the dupatta on my head. I can find one around. <laughs> Which works too. Yeah, I guess. You know, and so with the world of, with the world of modeling, because I've had exposure to it myself, and for me it was never an avenue that I wanted to actually fulfill or s succeed in as a career. It was just to get a, a way for me to get my foot in the door because um, I like to have a platform where I can give people the opportunity to to promote themselves and talk about themselves and feel good about themselves because I did struggle with low self-esteem when I was younger and I didn't want that to go on through everybody else. So now, um, I, I think I'm going to direct this question towards you, Shaheen, is that um, being a model, what does it mean for you? And is it something that you see yourself in the future? Is it just to get your foot in the door? What are your future aspirations? All of those three questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think um, being a model is something I'll say, um, I'm, I've been lucky enough that this is something I wanted to do and I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, for future, um, I think, uh, I hope so. Like, I keep on getting work and I keep on doing it. So, yeah, um, I think, like, it's quite competitive, like, as you mentioned before, but at the same time, you have to be very much clear in your head, like how you're gonna tackle with the situations coming up and how you're gonna represent yourself because you are the one who's gonna be the uh, public person, right? You are the one who's gonna um, be looked at by the audience. So yeah, I think like it's stressful at times as well to maintain yourself, stay fit, look good, but this is something like I personally would enjoy doing too. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. really wonderful. So you will have that opportunity to be a role model to other girls because you do get to talk at interviews and talk about what to, exper what, what to expect, what you experience, and you can give them advice on how to grow using those experiences. Unfortunately now, though, we are done for the show. I'm so mm -hmm. sad about that because there was so much more I wanted to learn from you guys. So I want to thank you all individually, Gotham, Shaheen, Kapil, and Rajinda for being on the show. I wanted to give you a special thank you, Fariel, for not just being on the show for the third time, being a familiar face to Girls Talk, but always doing my makeup as often as you were available because you know me, without your makeup, I wouldn't be wearing even lipstick. <laughs> so um, thank you everybody for being here and I'm looking forward to catching up on the behind the scenes stories off camera. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching this episode of Girls Talk. I'm excited that we had guys on the show too and we got to talk about girls interacting with each other behind the scenes as from a guy's perspective. It's also nice to hear from a guy's perspective once in a while. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you stay tuned, you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you check in on the Facebook pages and you like them, you follow them so that you are up to date with all of our updates. So we will see you guys next week. Rang wali, varam wali, news wale, views wale, bhel wale, bhel wale, Karachi wale, khaybar wale, Lahar wale, Apindi wale, in short pure Pakistan wale. Billy Billy, Chili Billy, ke hamat wale, Candyland Chili Billy. Erhan, an exclusive multi-designer studio, specialized in wedding planning services, bridal wear, casual party wear, jewelry, shoes, purses, dupattas, men's and kids clothes. You name it, we have it. Some of the Pakistani designer labels we carry are Sani K, Agha Noor, Sana Sapinas, Anas Abra, Zainab Chutani, Wahaj Khan, Fatma Khan and many more. Parahan, sheer elegance. We believe in quality service and best price. You can contact 9075 Derry Road West, Unit Number 1, Milton, Ontario. मैं हूं जहांगीर खान स्क्वाश कोर्ट का चैंपियन लेकिन रियल स्टेट इन्वेस्टमेंट का चैंपियन मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन मुझे उन पर यकीन है आप भी करके देखिए जहांगीर खान और हजारों क्लाइंट्स का चहेता मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन रेजिडेंशियल प्रॉपर्टीज और इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दोनों के लिए ही सही मशवरा सही फैसला मकान जिसे आप अपना घर कहने में फख्र महसूस करेंगे मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन 4163185264 A criminal charge can be an ugly, 
and nasty surprise. Don't let bad decisions or unfortunate circumstances take control of your life. The criminal lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will listen to your story and develop the best defense for you. Nothing in life is more important than your freedom. Reliable and affordable, Alam Law.